Hello everyone, welcome to High Voltage YouTube channel. Today topic is very very useful in interviews and lab viva as well as objective bids. Topic is why ammeter is always connected in series and voltmeter is always connected in parallel. If you don't know this, you will know after watching this video. So don't skip the video. Coming to the point, by observing this circuit, ammeter is connected in series and voltmeter is connected in parallel. A reason is ammeter having low internal resistance and voltmeter having high internal resistance. If you place ammeter in parallel, it will become short circuited due to low resistance. Hence, we always connect ammeter in series and voltmeter in parallel. Concept 2 before going to the concept 2, till now who are not subscribed my channel, please do subscribe for more videos. Concept is voltage source and current source. Voltage source always delivers a constant voltage irrespective of current and it has zero or very low internal resistance. Next is current source always delivers a constant current irrespective of voltage and it has infinity or very high internal resistance. From these two concepts, I created a table to remember easily. That is, particulars, ideal resistance value, practical resistance value, Vm, Am, Vs, Is, infinity, zero, zero, infinity, high, low, low, high. In ideal condition, we will say infinity zero, whereas in practical, we will say high, low. Next, we will see some important objective bits regarding these two concepts. Question number one. A voltmeter is connected in dash with the circuit component across which potential difference is to be measured. A. Parallel. B. Series. C. Series or parallel. D. None of the above. The answer is A. Parallel. Second question. An ideal ammeter has dash resistance. A. Low. B. Infinity. C. Zero. D. High. Answer is B. Infinity. Third question. A voltmeter should have dash resistance. A. 0. B. Very high. C. Very low. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Very high. Voltage source have A. 0 internal resistance. B. Infinity internal resistance. C. Low value of current. D. Large value of EMF. The answer is A. 0 internal resistance. This question came in AP Transco AE examination. Question is, ideal current source conductance should have A. 0, B, infinity, C, low, D, none of the above. This question is for you. So try to answer me in comment section. Thank you for watching. Please like, share to your friends, subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. Then you will not miss my video notification.